Gaming. At some point, I suppose I should be worried about finding a way out of here. But until that time... seem to be a dime a dozen. All right, is this somewhere I can go through without a key? It's broken, but I like to repair this, of course. I reach the inner gates. I think I am in. No, I'm not inside. All right. Well, let's just see where this takes us. Uh -huh. Favorite. Fort Sapirida. All right, I suppose we're going in. Let's see what's in here. A war chief. and the Grey Owl. Seems that there are quite a few enemies over there waiting for me. All right. Oh! Flames of Stendar have put these creatures in their place. This is truly a maze. Someone down below. A flame bow. That's interesting. Hmm, there's a full workshop here.
right. I think I came through there. Yes, that's the door that I couldn't get through. Alright, so... Looks like I haven't gone this way. Whoever you are. What is the Duke? Duke Kuata? And what have you got for me? A hide of the legendary Silon. Well, we can take it. <laughs> ninety nine percent resistance to shock. Tell you the the rings that are here in Cold Harbor. So this is it. This all led me up here so that I could defeat that creature and allegedly get the ring. seem this is all there is to the fort. All right, it seems that's all that there was to that fort. Oh, look at that. Amazing. Hmm, there's someone sitting here. Hello? Are you friend or foe? Sir? No. So ends your reign of tyranny here. Walk always in the light, or we will drag you to it. So this is a soul-shriven knight of the Nine. Another Mara worshipper, it would seem. Interesting. All right, let's go here. The Thracian Apothecary. Hello. I hope you are not going to wait. Is are you the same? You are, Sir Junkin. Can you tell me anything about the slums? It should be called the Undead Den. That priest, Pepe, says they lead to the prison tower and then to the Imperial City. I don't trust that priest. Maybe he's not lying, but he's definitely hiding something. Oh, well that's where I need to go. You seem to know this place. Anything I should know? There is a barrier tower to the east, but don't go there. The smell of rotten blood is coming from there. 
You know, I've learned that wherever people tell me not to go is where I need to go. So what do you think about the shop owner who I have not seen? A good woman. There are no better women than Redguard woman. Okay. Then where is she? I wonder what would happen if I stole from here. <laughs> Other jails. Ah, oh, she's here sleeping. Sabrina. What? That outfit. I should have known. I'd never have known that you were a red god. So is there anything that I should know about the leeches around here? They carry the Thracian Plague. Ah. Rotting blood and flesh is their favorite food. So they let their host slowly rot. And then eat it. Mm. In the end, they break the skull of their host on their foreheads and look for a new host. Oh. So don't get too close to the already infected people. Thank you for the warning. I had no idea. I need to know more about the plague consuming this wasteland. It's the Thracian Plague. It starts with fatigue, chills, anti-fever. When it gets worse, your blood rots and your body starts decaying. When the black spots appear on your body, it's too late. It's far better to prevent infection. All right, well, I hope I'm not infected. What do you have for sale? Mm, nothing specific to the Thracian Plague, it would seem. Take these lockpicks. All right, thank you. I'm sorry to have awakened you. Good day. All right, Sir Junkin. I'll probably see you again soon. Style? Probably so. Hmm. He's not moving at all. Oh, I almost fell in one of those holes. All right. Hmm. The slums it is. I think. They need a little light in here. Good morning. Anyone else? Certainly one way to take care of these creatures, although the problem with using Stendar's aura in this dark area is that I can barely see. Statue of Mara. 
Hmm. All right. Note to self: Do not use Stenda Stenda's aura in a dark enclosure. Absolutely no idea where I'm going. What's this? A kiss, sweet mother. <laughs> the Black Sacrament. Hmm. A prayer to Sithis. it. I can just stand here and it'll be destroyed by the light. Between Stendhal's aura and my heavy armor, these creatures have no chance against me. The song never sung at twilight. The true nature of orcs. Alright, I think I'm gonna have to do something about this. There, finally. It's quite dark in here, though. This flask isn't really illuminating it much at all. What's wrong with the flask? It's as though it's burned out. This is not going to work. There. Look, there's a chest right in front of me and I couldn't even see it. So is this it? The master cell door. Interesting how some master locks are stronger than others. Seems like I was in here. Hmm, second floor. And I would have missed this. Take a 
your best shot. Hmm, it's been a while since I've been able to use this spell. of lumber. Not for my resilience, I could have been destroyed. Forbidden Tome, Conjure Ancient Flame Queen. I'm sure he's gonna come- Oh! Seems like I may have cleared out the floor. No, wait, I hear more breathing. More grunting. Is this how I came up? Yes. So I think this is it. I don't see anything else. Wait, there's a, a marker through here, I think. to the same place. Dendar's light take you all.
Well, this doesn't. What? Doesn't wait. Completely impervious is this Pepe? Somehow I doubt it. Let Stendar's light burn you. Are you Pepe? What are you? It is Pepe. You're finally here. <laughs> what kept you so long? There's nothing worth stopping for in this wasteland. You're a right lazy one. Even an old man like myself managed to overtake you. <laughs> well, you know your way around this place better than I do. Tell me about this dock, and I had no idea that you were even waiting for me. Originally, it was used to transport criminals and other goods. Workers and beggars settled around and gradually built a large city. Alicians burned this town many times out of fear of the plague, but it always started rebuilding the very next day. The Alician Order finally gave up and even granted this city some autonomy. Ironically, the thrashing plague broke out here in the following year. Hmm. How did the Thracian Plague spread so much? A slowed. A slowed crept into the sewer. He was a good lad, but he was too ugly to be accepted. And Alicia's killed him because of his ugliness. What? Just before his death, the slowed spat some kind of liquid at the one surrounding him. This is how the Thracian Plague started. Mm. Where does the sewer lead? To the prison tower. It's a place where people who fought against the Lycians were imprisoned. Beware of the leech monsters along the way. Of course. They are rampant here, and far worse than the people in the slums. Leech monsters now. Tell me about them. You must have seen people infested with the leeches on your way here. Whatever remains of them ends up here. Some call them Mary's children. The Elysians burned her on the pyre for, supposedly, being a witch. Some say she consorted with the Morlike Ball and gave birth to those monsters. Mm. You mentioned Mary. What can you tell me about her? The masters called her Mara. Mara? Mara. The name of one of Anuiel's damned usurpers. All right. So Mary is Mara. So, am I to take it I'm to go through this sewer? It can't be. Is there a boat? Oh, there is. Oh, wow. You talk about a bad feeling, and what is this chain going to activate? <laughs> the boat. Here we go. It's going to be a long, slow journey. I suppose I could put up some light. I didn't want to give myself away, but... that I have much choice. Hmm, there's something moving over there. Sorry, I'm not taking any chances. Oh no, look at 
those eyes. It's a good thing I decided to use candlelight. Oh my goodness, these things are ghastly. Are these people that have been infected by the plague? No, I shudder to think about what might be in this water. Oh. Wow, they have souls. Better be prepared for close combat. And it looks like I need to recharge the Morning Star. Hermaeus Mora is not the only one that has a monopoly on those eyes. Hmm. So I guess I this is how I need to go through. I would think that there would be an open door somewhere. A dark one. This seems to be blocking. Aha. All right. Hmm. Do I go through the Imperial sewers or do I go into this home? Caldwell's house. I'm going to see if I can pick it. be something in here I'm supposed to see. Who is this? Hmm. Cadwell. Hmm. What do you have for sale? I'll take these lockpicks. The soul gem. What is this? Restores 10 points of health. Looks like a delicious steak, but I think I'll pass. All right, sir. Thank you. ask myself, do I even want to be in here? And the simple answer is no. Just do a, a quick reconnaissance here. You know, this looks familiar. That's Pepe. Okay, so I... <laughs> then... 
We need to get out of here. What happened to this Histus flask? Hold on a moment. destroy them just as easily. Ugh. Just walk in a circle. No, this is a different chest. immune to light magic, so... I'm sure there are enough flames to end your miserable existences. What is that? A dark one. to say that these are children. Alright, am I headed down? I can't... can barely see. But there appears to be a... Unlock downwards. All right.
Oh boy. I mean, that white armor should signify that this is a good person, in quotes. But I must stay on my guard. What on what nern is that on his back? You. Do you know anything about Mary? She is a priestess of Mara, from the time of the Alessian Empire. Apparently, she was a healer who could cure the Thracian Plague. Hmm. But there are very few records of her left. All I know is that she was burned as a witch by the Alessian Order during the outbreak of the Thracian Plague. And what can you tell me about the leech monsters? They are former humans. Hmm. Twisted by the Thracian plague and Mary's blessing. They rot again and again until they lose their human form. So you appear to be another knight. Tell me, what are you doing here? I am tending the bonfire. Those leech monsters fear it. As long as you light a fire, you won't be attacked by them. Hmm, well, good to know. there are creatures like Atima who don't fear fire, but she is harmless. You must be Atima. Talos, Talos, Invincible, Talos. Hmm. And what are you doing here? Playing with dolls. Hmm. Look, Mary made a doll for Atima. You must be jealous now, no? No. Not even close. So aren't you afraid of the fire? All the others, like you, seem to fear it. Mary dislikes fire. But Atima likes it. It is very warm. That name Talos, where did you hear it? Uncle Kagas told Atima about him. He said Talos is the ninth divine. But it is funny because there are only eight divines. No matter how many <laughs> times Atima counts. And you have enough hands. Kajit to even do asked it. Mary, but she did not know. The old mother said there was only one god, and now Atima is really confused. You mentioned Mary. What can you tell me about her? Mary is very kind. She does not hurt Atima like her old mother. Former mother? You don't like her very much. Atima hates her. Atima hates her old father, too. They hurt Atima. Bad child. Bad child, they said. Huh. Because Atima is a Khajiit. Oh, really? They made her wear a collar and beat her with the whip. Oh, that's horrible. So what exactly are you? Atima is called Atima. It is a nice name, no? It will do. All right then, Atima. It's just hideous just to look at her. All right, sir. Caius, what's this here? Slave traitor's note. Bravel burned. And here, the spawn of Molag Ball. Hmm. Well, Molag Ball spawns children with unwilling and harvest the souls of the unwary. Legends tell us that Molag Ball is the father of the first vampire, although we cannot fully detail the many species of vampires. We may consider all of them to be his offspring. Most vampires can trace their lineage to the same distant ancestor, an unwilling, needic virgin who Molag Bal defiled. 
With her, he spawned a race of monsters, who then set upon nomads, spreading his corruption further. Other species of vampires are the result of pacts and bargains with Molag Ball, who answers promises of immortality and power with an eternity of damnation. Molag Ball seeds chaos and strife, spreading discord by corrupting soul after soul. His force is a legion. His patience is limitless. His ultimate goal is the domination and enslavement of all living things. What's this? Sir Shard's Ashes. Okay. Well, all right, Sir Chaos. I think I will rest here for a bit before I continue on.